Hey YouTube, and hello Twitch. Tony's back again. Just gonna finish what the this is new. Version 1.001. Interesting. In any case, yeah, I'm doing. I am doing the pacifist run. And uh, yeah, the game just updated something. I tried to look at the notes, but it's like it didn't say anything. In any case, what? what? Oh. My, uh... Oh, my keyboard's still stuck up. Stop it. Oh. Boy! Why is this doing this? Why? Thank you, that's enough. Alright, so... I think I was just heading to... Fight Undyne. And I have a lot of healing items. Which is what I need. And we somewhat battle. Washu and Eren. Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to do that. Ah, nerds. Ah! I did that to myself. This is what I get for not coming back sooner. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Ah. Smells like a muscle farm. Alright, well, let's get you out of here. No need for a swimsuit. <laughs> What with your perfect physique and all. Let's flex. I flex. He flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for both for the two of us. Flexing contest! Okay, flex more! This thing speeds up ever so much. Flex again. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for both of you. Nice! I won't lose, though. I think you will. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Flex it! You flex! Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. And I win. Man, I can't believe I got hit so hard already. That's not cool, Aaron! Ah, crap. Maybe going back to Temi Village wasn't the best idea? But it certainly wasn't the worst idea. Mold Big and Washua appear. Let's see, let's get rid of Mold Big. Unhug! You don't hug Mold Big. It appreciates your, res your respect of its boundaries. Out, darn spot! Gua! Uh, 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 uh. Mold Bug seems comfortable with your presence. Let's get rid of him. Out, darn spot! Oop. I don't like you, Soap. Uh. Washua is rinsing off pizza. Please clean me! You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean! Oh, you went to the top now? Dude! Ugh, Washua is looking for some clean fun. Spare. And then I'm out HP already. This is bullshit. Yeah, I better heal. Unicycle. So ridiculous. I am already in a pissy mood. And then we run across. Splash! Oh yeah, I go up here. I need a freaking heal. Heal me. Heal moi. Oh freaking come on! It should have. All right, that's battle time. I'm at twelve. 
I might as well save that stuff for later. Hello! Scary person! Hiding! Seven! Seven human souls! And King Asgore will become a god! Six! That's how many we have collected thus far! Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed! First, however, has a customary for those who make it this far. I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. Dot dot dot. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story? When you're about to die! Nyaha! So kill! You! You're standing in the way of everyone's hopes and dreams! Alphys' history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you? <coughs> oh no. You're just a coward! Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again! And let's not forget your wimpy good to goody two shoes shtick! Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers! You know that would be more valuable to every- You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you are dead! That's right, human. For continued existence is a crime. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose! Now, human, let's end this. Right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> oh, thank God. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Shit, then I wasted the unicycle. God damn it. That's it, then? No more running away. Here I come! I totally forgot. Oi. On guard! Undyne attacks. Can I plead? You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. As long as you're green, you can't escape! Unless you learn to face danger head on! You won't last a second against me! Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Challenge? You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. Great. Not bad! Then how about this? Undyne draws her fingers across her neck. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. Shit. For years we've dreamed of a happy ending! Undyne flashes a menacing smile. Uh, let me eat again. You told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. And now sunlight is just within our reach! Smells like sushi. I won't let you snatch it away from us! Undyne towers threateningly. Told Undyne you just want to be friends, she remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. Yeah, enough forming up! Ah! Bitch! Undyne bounces impatiently. Uh, eh, eh. Read again? You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Mercy? Ha! I still can't believe you want to spare me! Ah! Uh. Smells like sushi. Spare? But even if I spared you... Keep moving. Ugh. Didn't see that last one! Undyne points heroically towards the sky. Mm. 
know, spare. No human has ever made it past Asgore! Undyne holds her fists in front of her and shakes her head. Uh, ice cream? You're just great. Your HP was maxed out. Ooh, I didn't realize it was maxed. Oh well. Honestly, killing you now is an act of mercy. You, witch. Just keep pleading. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Pleading. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. So stop being so damn resilient! Aha! Not this time! Undyne flashes a menacing smile. What the hell are humans made out of? Undyne holds her fists in front of her and shakes her head. Pleading. You told Undyne you just want to be friends, she remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. Anyone else would be dead by now! Smells like sushi. Alphys told me humans were determined! Smells like sushi. I see now what she meant by that. Sheesh. Undyne Groat draws her fingers across her neck. Plead, you told Undyne she just you were just wanting plants. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. But I'm determined too! Items. Astro food. You eat the astronaut food. Your HP was maxed. Determined to end this right now! Ho -ho. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. You told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. Right now! <laughs> Undyne points heroically towards the sky. I'm gonna continue bleeding. I don't wanna fight! Right now! Undyne bounces impatiently. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Ha <laughs> ha! Undyne towers threateningly. Yeah, die already, you little brat! Ah, oh, I got hit. Okay, this one's tough. This one is tough. You cannot give up just yet. Wreck, stay determined. That was my first death. Unsurprisingly, I get hit hard often. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. Ungard! Undyne attacks, and I plead. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. As long as you're green, you can't escape! Unless you learn to face danger head on! You won't last a second against me! Which means I basically just have to solve this entire puzzle. Undyne flips her spare and patient. You told Undyne that you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Not bad! Then how about this? It's like DDR right now. Undyne towers threateningly. You told Undyne that you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. For years we've dreamed of a happy ending! Undyne bounces impatiently. Attack 50! Sheesh, the heroine that never gives up. And now sunlight is just within our reach!
Undyne bounces impatiently. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Time to try my theory. Undyne draws her fingers across her neck. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Yeah, enough warming up. Ah, oh, fuck off. Undyne, fuck you. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Heh, <laughs> you're tough! Undyne towers threateningly. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. And even if you could beat me, Undyne suplexes a huge boulder just because she can. So cool! You told Undyne that you just want to be friends, you remember someone. Her attack become a little less extreme. No human has ever made it past Asgore! I... Hold on. Oh yeah, okay. Fine, fine. Nice screen. <laughs> is this as sweet as you? Your HP was maxed out. Honestly, killing you now is an act of mercy. Undyne holds her fists in front of you and shakes her hand. You told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks go a little less extreme. Wow, that was close. Suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. You told Undyne that you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks are going a little less extreme. So stop being so damn resilient! Lady, come on. Bounces impatiently. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. What the hell are humans made of? Undyne Towers threatened. Pleading. I don't want to fight. I just want to be friends. Nothing happened. Anyone else would be dead by now. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. You told Undyne you just want to be friends. You remember someone. Attacks become a little less extreme. Alphys told me humans were determined. Undyne towers threateningly. Well, this is gonna suck. You told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks go a little less extreme. I see now what she meant by that. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground. Nice cream, please. An illusion? What? An illustration of a hug? Uh, okay. But I'm determined too! Hmm, almost got away from that. Smells like sushi. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Determined to end this right now! Whew. Undyne draws her fingers across her neck. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Right now! Undyne towers threatening me. Plead. Don't want to fight. Nothing happened. Right. Now. Uh, something tells me I should heal. Uh, we'll see. You told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. Ha <laughs> ha. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. You told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. Yeah, die already, you little brat! That's the tough one, isn't it? Mm. 
you're going to be alright, Wreck. Stay determined. This is not easy. In fact, it is quite difficult. That's it then! No more running away! Here I come! Alright, that's enough saying her lines. Let's just get this done. Blah 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 blah. Bing bing bing. This is the toughest this has been so far. Like super de duper focused for this. Well, not this part, but you know, the rest. off. God damn it. Just keep healed. Yes, I am tough. Stop trying to kill me already, will ya? I'm trying to be your friend. And not kill you. Because the past has proven I can kill you. Well, I probably can't do it now. Level one and all. I'm super spiffy! Being so damn resilient. Huh? Oh. I didn't realize I could do that. You've escaped for the last me for the last time. Oh, I, s I think I see. I think I figured out this puzzle. Maybe. Shite! Ugh. I don't like how this takes too long. I want to get right back into the game right now. Let's go. And let's go. On guard! Me? Speeches are getting more and more. Well, I'm losing my patience for it. Fucking 
hell? Stupid reflex bullshit. Getting out of here. Oh, come on. Leave me alone, bitch! Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. How am I doing? How are you doing me a favor? Points heroically to the sky. No human has ever made it past Asgore! Killing you now is an act of mercy! So stop being so damn resilient! Supposed to like chase me or something? Well, I fled. Just as well, I'm going to get more healing items. Uh, which means I have to go all the way back here again. And beyond. And beyond. Washu, clean me! Worth it! Hmm, I probably should be doing this when I'm more awake or something. Aaron, let's flex! Flexing contest! Okay, flex more! Whoa! <laughs> You're supposed to flex, not sweat on me. Gross. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice. I won't lose though. Why did I go right into that? And time for you to flex out of the party. Eep. Wrong direction. Let's see, the cat village is not the answer. What I need to do is find... Find that guy who carts me between places. Which I believe is down here. Oh, he ain't here! That's not cool. What do you got for me? Crab apple? Heals 18 HP. CT. Heals 10 HP. Cloudy glasses. Invincible longer. Hmm. Well, I'm not attacking, so... If I could be invincible for longer, that would be great. I'll take it. And I'm gonna need some crab apples. See ya! Uh, wait, torn notebook was it? shoes away. So I can buy another crab apple. Okay, let's try this again, I guess. Actually, hold on. Hold on. There we go. 
Okay, back we go to try this again. And hopefully not get hit. On the way there, that is. Obviously I'm going to get hit by Undyne because she's a boss. She's a boss lady! She's so cool! Way too cool. Far too cool. Hmm. Hmm. Up, down, over, down, up. No, oh dear. Special enemy Temi appears here to defeat you. Can we talk? You say hello to Temi. Hi, I'm Temi. Uh, Temi, no. Temi accidentally misspells her own name. <laughs> I'll spare you. You won! Go back to your village. You cute little thing. Hi, I'm Temi! Okay, lady, here I come. I guess I have to dodge that last attack valiantly. The howling wind is now a what? The howling wind is now a breeze. This gives you determination. Interesting. I knew you'd come back here. Here I come. You've escaped for the last me for the last time. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Alphys told me humans were determined. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. I see now what she meant by that. Undyne towers threatening. I'm determined to! Oh, I almost didn't get that one. It smells like sushi. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Determined to end this right now! Damn it. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Right now! Let's get those items going. Nice scream. Right now. Told Undyne he didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Nyah! Die already, you little brat! Oh, so close. Food! Food! You eat the crab apple. HP is maxed out. I will never take mercy from the likes of you! You will never spare me! Whoa, uh, 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 oh. Ah, crap tree! <sighs> I think I'm gonna be lucky to get out of this one. If I do. Undyne's eyes dart around to see if this is a prank. Ah! <laughs> Undyne's eye is twitching involuntarily. HP maxed out!
Valentine's eye darts around to see if this is a prank. Keep sparing. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Undyne is hyperventilating. You told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. Just a little. Don't slow me down! Oh, I should have gone north! Ugh. Stop running away! Undying attacks. Flee! Oh, I got away. Kind of. Oh! Come back here, you little punk! <laughs> Getting away from you! Bye! Come back here, you little punk! Bring! Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. After we hang out, after you, you hang out with me, let's meet up at her house. I think you would, I think you would make great pals. Click. Uh, okay, that's pretty funny. Come back here, you little punk! Gonna keep running. Sans, help! Sa oh, Sans, you bastard. You sleepy bastard. Come back here, you little punk. Getting out of here. See ya! this was here for. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Yes. You took a cup of water. Give Undyne the water? Yes. <laughs> I understand. Oh, now you don't know what to do. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Just walks away. Okay. See ya. Bye. Whoa, what? Oh, what in the world are you? Oh, KKKKK! I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink! Here you go. Oh, wait, what? I. Hmm? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working! Okay, whatever. The water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. I guess all that the point is is I got away. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. So basically, I got away. Hi. Bye. To the lab! I'm being watched. <laughs> Click. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and. And? Why are you spying on me? Um, uh, hi, uh, I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. B -b but uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've um been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. <laughs> so uh, uh, now I want to help you. 
Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be... Shut up, Homer. Originally, I built him to be an experiment robot, an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like the, a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti-human anti combat features. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> <laughs> but um, hopefully he won't. You won't. We won't run into him. You had. Did you hear something? To jinx it, didn't you? Oh no! Oh yes. Welcome, beauties, to today's quiz show. Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Are you die? Metaton attacks. Do, do, do. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Mercy? Ha, you wish. Wrong. Alright, more questions. Ugh. The quiz show continues. Act. What does he say for spare? Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Asgore Dreamer. Correct. What a terrific answer. The quiz show continues. Screaming is against the rules. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Hopes and dreams, metal and magic, sugar and spice, snips and snails. Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. Here's another easy one for you. <sighs> Two trains, blah blah, so on and so forth. I'm gonna take a wild guess. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Completely, utterly wrong. The show continues, and I eat a crab tree. You eat the crab apple. Crab tree, crab apple. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? I'm just gonna do this. I'm so flattered you remembered. <laughs> the quiz show continues. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah! Great answer! I love it! Quiz show continues. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? No, 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 can't you read? The quiz show continues. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? Oh, oh, I know this one! In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and the guy buy ice cream and the friends and the snails and the flavor ever and the flavors and the favorite part of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, aren't you? Are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? On... Dine? 
See, Alvis, I told you it was obvious. <laughs> right, I forgot about that. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together. Sharing a domestic lifestyle. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. With Dr. Elf's help helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But... But... This was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance. More bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Lasting off. Dot dot dot. Well, that was certainly something. Yes, yes it was. What was that? I'll go save. And heal. Wait, wait! Let me give you my phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could. Wh where do you get that phone? It's ancient! It doesn't even have texting! Wait a second, please! With, uh, children's screaming souls, I guess. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. It even si I even signed you up for the underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Okay, well, I'm gonna go save, so yeah. Nope. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Save. Alright, going forward. Then I just have to get through. Let's see, was there anything in here for me to pick up? Not really. Nope. <sighs> Elvis updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Sad face. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll have I'll ask her about it later. Elvis. For now I gotta call up the human and guide them. Here we go. Vulcan strolls in. Can I encourage you? You tell Vulcan it's doing a great job. Its attacks become extreme. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Does my best. Whoa. Extreme. Okay. It's not that bad actually. Vulcan parades around you proudly. I see. Spare. I won. Alpha updated status. Gonna call them in a minute. Okay. Whatever. Whatever chick. Building. Oh, not yet, huh? Alpha update says, I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this. Laughing my... Is she laughing her ass off? I guess she was. Sunderplane gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything. Approach. You get close to Sunderplane, but not too close. Eh? H human? Interesting. Sunderplane looks over, then turns up its nose. Lol. Flirt! You tell Sunderplane it has an impressive wingspan. Huh? Y you sicko! Don't, don't you deny these feelings. Ah, hey. Sunderplane accidentally bumps into you with its wing. You tell Sunderplane that it, is a cute w it has cute winglets. Huh? You, you sicko! Now I'm really confused. Okay, do I just approach? You get close to Sunderplane, but not too close. Eh? He human? Sunderplane shakes its nose dismissively at you. Uh, okay. Spare you, I guess. 
Look at me! Oh, great. That's just... Oh, wait. There's something down here, isn't there? Um, uh, well... I don't really need that, actually. I'm not attacking anything. Alpha's update is dead. Oh my god, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. Oh my god, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. Ring, ring. Click? Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. Ring. Uh, hi. So the blue lasers, uh, I mean, Alf is here. Huh. The blue lasers won't hurt if you won't move. If you don't move. Uh, orange ones? Um, you have to be moving. And they, um, they won't, um, move through those ones. What? Uh, bye. Click. Uh, Alpha somebody's. Oh my god, I did it! Claws haven't shook like that since Undyne called me to ask about the weather. Sad face. Alpha's update status. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? <laughs> ah, frick. Damn it! Ring. Hey, watch out. You're going to get really hurt. I can't watch this. I'm disabling the lasers. Oh, thank God. Th there. Be careful, okay? I'm sorry, it's my fault you got hurt. I didn't explain the lasers well enough, and if I hadn't, if I hadn't oh, delayed using my hacking skills, I mean, sorry. Click. Sigh. Alphas, Alphas, Alphas. Tisk. 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 Alphas up doing status. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. Picture a cute pic of me right now. It's a, it's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. Oh dear lord. Ring. Alf is here. The, the northern door will stay locked until you s solve the puzzle on the right and left. I, I think you should go to the right first. Click. Fine, I'll go to the right. It's puzzle time. Alpha update status. Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzles. It's all good. I know what to do. See? Done. Moving right along. Moving right along. Whee! Ring. Uh, another laser? Hmm. I'm sorry, I won't play around this time. Hold on a second. Click. Works for me. And solving puzzles now. Aha! Solved! Yay me! Again, and to the north. Open says me. Alpha's updated status. Whatever, I'll just explain it. Ring. Uh, I think, um, hey, about the puzzles on the left and right, they're a bit difficult to explain, but, uh, you already solved them? Awesome! <laughs> Whee! Oh, there's no going back now. Oh, there's really no going back now. Bring. Hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, yes. Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premier cooking show. Cooking with a killer robot. <laughs> Yay! Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. Yay, me! 
We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. You found the eggs. You found the milk. You found the sugar. MTT brand microwave, origin of the MTT challenge. Put your food in and set the microwave on high for five minutes. If you can still recognize your meal, we'll double your money back. <laughs> okay. Great job, just put them in the middle of the counter. Perfect, great job, beautiful. We've got all the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my, wait a magnificent moment. We, how could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. <laughs> a human soul. Err, uh, err. Um, uh. Bring. Hello, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Well, wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan? Vegan. Uh, well, that's a brilliant idea, Alps. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand, always convenient, human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So, better start climbing. Beautiful. <laughs> Bring. No, no, there's not enough time to climb up. F fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says jetpack? Watch this! There! You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there! That UI needs to get out of the way. Na, 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 na. This is the most calm music for what's going on here. Uh, uh, uh. Yay, the goal! My, my. It seems you bested me. But only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I loathe to think of what would have happened to you without her. Well, toodles. Oh yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Okay. Guess I'm gonna go down. Ring! Wow! We we did it! We we really did it! Great job out there, team! Well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. Click. Okay, well, I was really only in an ominous structure looms in the distance. You're filled with determination. Uh, I was only thinking about sticking around for an hour, and my hour is up, so I will come back another time with some more Undertale. Thanks for sticking around, folks, and watching and sharing and everything. Good day!